Hi, my name is Leroy. When I was six years old, my mom left me and my little brother Antoine in the care of her dad. He homeschooled us, so we didn't get to socialize very much with other kids. We were locked up without play dates or television. I looked up to my dad. He was a superhero to me. My dad was mad that my mom left, and he took that out on us. I think of it as constant unnecessary punishment, but the state called it abuse. The neighbors heard it and called the police. I was eight and my little brother was six when they came and removed us. We weren't really told where we were going or why, but they took us to Children's Hospital to get checked out. We didn't have any of our stuff. That night, we slept at a temporary foster home. In the morning, a social worker took us to a long-term foster care placement. That's when we met Vicki and Ken. There were two other foster kids there, Michelle and Brandon, but they later moved on to their other homes. Right when I was starting to get to know him, Ken passed away. We've been with Vicki ever since. She adopted us a couple of years ago, when Antoine and I were 13 and 11. Since we were removed from our dad's house, we have never seen or spoken to our parents. It was difficult for me, for me to adjust to attending a regular school. Since I had never attended one before, I got into fights and was suspended. I changed schools because of my behavioral issues, but I still did well in my classes academically. Not having any friends all those years did something to me. As I tried to find myself, I had trouble with social interaction because of my anger and anxiety. The kids would call me retarded due to my inability to make friends in an assertive way. My mom, counselor, and Miss Nina from Treehouse helped me learn how to approach people to make friends. In middle school, I joined all the sports they could. The teams gave me a sense of family, and the coaches were mentors. It was, great. it was a great experience to be able to bond with other students outside of the classroom. The kids who used to pick on me got to know me in a different way. We met each other halfway and found similarities. I started making friends. Back then, I didn't know what I was good at because I had nothing to judge it against. I tried a bunch of new things like sports and music, and it turns out I have natural talent for both. My uncle sent a saxophone and I joined band. My treehouse specialist, Miss Nina, saw my interest in the sax and found a college student to tutor me. A donor from Treehouse heard that I was doing better in school when I got to play music, so they sent a brand new one. Now I play trumpet and piano too. Since I was in the fourth grade, Treehouse has been there for me. I've shopped for clothes in the warehouse. Little Wishes has paid for my ASB card, yearbooks, my sports fees for wrestling, and summer camp. Going to summer camp helped me out, come out of my shell. Have fun with other kids and be carefree. My Treehouse Education Specialist meets with me weekly to check in on my academics and goals. Right now, I'm focused on bringing my GPA up to a 3.5 by the end of the semester. I've already been approached by some colleges about scholarships, but I'm hoping that when I graduate, I can attend the University of Washington. Thank you for supporting Treehouse today. You're helping a lot of youth just like me.